Would you, would you think, Tad, excuse me. Why, why would Adam pretend to be what crazy? Mean, what do you mean, why? For the same reason that Jenny cries, because he's an infant and he's desperate for your attention. I don't That's think why. it's an act. I think Adam has real psychological okay. problems. Okay, terrific. If you're right, I'm thrilled. Because, you know, in the interest of justice, I would love nothing more to see him carted off to the loony bin. I just don't think I'm lucky enough for them, him to, for them to buy that pathetic routine. You didn't have to mock him, Tad. That was just plain mean. Crystal. Honey, I love you. I respect you. You got a good heart. One of the best is full of love to give to other people, but you are wasting it on Adam Chan. Dixie. Father Clarence, it's more of your hocus pocus. This is amusing to you. You're harassing me this way, first first Christmas Eve visions of Crystal. And now Dixie. Well, well I'm so frightened, I just hardly know what to do. <laughs> I just uh, guess maybe I'll just wait right here for the next bomb to drop. Come on, Padre. Bring it on. Listen, you know, me. Uh, Jess, Jesse and I are making a to-do list for our wedding. Yeah, you want me to start planning at the bachelor party? <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> we found a wonderful caterer, oh, okay. and now we're looking into flowers and music, and tomorrow we'll go shopping for a dress. Oh, I want to go with you. Terrific. Oh, me too. Oh, so I, I, listen, I, I was going to ask you, but I didn't want to impose. It's our turn. We're up, dude. Cool day. Hey, move it. Yeah. You know, if you're bored, you should stop by Chandler's later. Adam's got himself one hell of a one-man show. What? He's so desperate to get Crystal back, he's pretending to be crazy. I should feel sorry for him. Heads. How do you know if a guy like Adam Chandler is uh, crazy or just being Adam Chandler? And not you too. Because it's Adam we're talking about. It's ridiculous. Pretending to pe talk to people that aren't there, says he sees things flying across the room by himself. <laughs> so you're absolutely sure he's not faking it? And he's actually careened over the edge? Absolutely. Well, what are you worried about, man? There's no way Crystal would fall for some junk like that. Yeah, you think. Well, he really had a hold on her, huh? Still does. I'm not insane. No, I'm, uh, there must be an absolutely logical explanation for all of these incidents. They're, uh, well, let's see. They started about the time I started taking those anti-anxiety medications. Of course, it's the, these pills. Well, that's the end of that. The end of that. Now back to work. This is impossible. This, this, this is Kate's adoption certificate. It can't be. I ate it. Just, uh, just vision. It's just, it's, 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 the idea is trying to make me think that I'm mad when I'm not. Do you hear me? I'm not. You hear me? It won't work. It won't work. Respect Crystal. She tries to fight the good fight, but somehow she just gets sucked back in. So, where are you in all this? You Knowing your wife can't shake another man. <laughs> you know, I am worried about Crystal. Can't help.
help it. I can't stand the fact that a man like Adam can manipulate her so easily. So what are you going to do about it, Patty? Protect Jenny. It's my job, isn't it? She's my daughter. Crystal's your wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's different. Yeah. You both came to this dance with a whole lot of baggage. That's yeah, okay. You may not be written in the stars like you and Angela, but we definitely have an understanding. I love her. I do. But she's not Dixie, huh? What's wrong, Adam? You look a little pale. <laughs> that was you in the, uh, in the mirror? In the flesh. Well, not exactly. So, everyone thinks you're losing your marbles. Wouldn't it be something if you ended up in the same padded cell you had me thrown into? <laughs> you still have your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> and you look... Pretty darn good, huh? Considering I'm dead. <laughs> you know, I've been gone more than a year. Nothing's changed. Especially you. I meant here in this room. That's the spot where the poison hit me. Oh, uh, yes. I've been thinking of having a, uh, a plaque installed there to mark the spot. Uh -huh. Something to remember me by? How sweet. Yes, you, you've made resurrection a bit of a habit, haven't you? I must say, Adam, you are remarkably relaxed. Oh, you don't think I really believe this is happening, do you? Well, why not? <laughs> I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you were my medication. You're a, a side effect, an hallucination. A hallucination? Hmm. Yeah. Frankly, I was hoping for Marilyn Monroe. Uh, uh, well... Blondes do have more fun. <laughs> so you're, you're really um, a ghost. Come on, Adam. Don't tell me you're surprised I came back to haunt you. Why should you haunt me? I treated you with nothing but kindness. Oh, right, yes. You uh, kindly shipped me off to a mental institution so you could steal my son. And the only crazy thing I ever did was marry you. Well, so you want revenge. Um, you want to, because I put you in a, in a straitjacket, you want to put me in one, too. Tempting as that is. No, that is not why I'm here. You just can't seem to get rid of this. Can you? That's confidential. First you locked it in a safe, then you threw it in the fire, even tried to digest it. Now that was entertaining. Yeah. Why don't you... Uh, why are you here? Why don't you, you go off and, and, and flutter around our son, or, or that idiot Tad Mark? How can you keep this from Tad? No matter how much you hate him, you have no right to deny I him his daughter. I don't know that jackass a single thing. Tad has been through hell, wondering if Kate is safe, if she's happy, if she's loved, and you have the answers right here. It's too late for me, but it is not too late for Tad. You can give him his child. And you, you, you've come down here from the great beyond to talk to me about the baby that you misplaced. I came to make you do the right thing. When you wasted the trip, baby, this discussion is over. <laughs> the razzle-dazzle. Why don't you just take this paper and give it to Tad yourself? I don't think it's right. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? You can rise from the dead, but you can't send a fax. <laughs> you call yourself a ghost? decision, and you will do this. No, not a chance. No, Ted Martin tore my family apart. 
I'm not going to help you put his back together. We are talking about a child here. No. A little girl. No, we're talking about Ted Martin. And he has a little girl, I know, because he stole her from me. Do you hear yourself? Do you hear how selfish and cruel you sound? You can haunt me to the day I die. I will never give this paper to Ted Martin. My office stands, man. I'm going to help you find your daughter. Uh, look, I love you for offering, but... No, no but, man. I'm not talking about running out of here and hunting her down tonight, but tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm your boy. I don't understand, okay? I've been looking for Kate for two solid years. I'm very good at my job. I've searched all over the world, and I've come up with nothing. And I mean nothing. At this point, the only thing I can hope for is a miracle. to you before why should I start now dad what are you doing oh um yeah I, I was just uh, uh, rehearsing a, a speech I have to make tomorrow at the board that's all uh this is my friend Cassandra she's gonna stay the night pleasure why don't you two ladies go upstairs and uh, get settled in are you sure you're okay <laughs> I'm fine I'm fine just go on I'll come up later and uh, and say good night See what I mean? You are right. Your dad's definitely acting kind of weird. All right, you disappear, you reappear, you you could send an army of zombies after me. It isn't going to change the way I feel about Ted Martin. Mm -hmm. Saying that when uh, JR was a baby. You may be a lousy ghost, but you were a very good mother. Don't try to butter me up. I should have given JR a better father. He shouldn't have been a Chandler. He should have been a Mark. I can't promise you any miracles, Pat. I'm telling you, the case is cold. It's ice cold. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you've got Double O Hubbard on the case. A lot of fire under that case. You see. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Yeah. No, no, I'm... Are you sure? You're, you're absolutely sure. No, okay. All right, fine. I'll, I'll get in touch with you. Who was it? Ted, what, what's wrong? Speak up, boy. Who's on the phone? Hey, it was a friend of mine. Listen, that was Tammy, the woman I told you was like trying to track down Hazel Morehouse. Dr. Madden's assistant. Right, right, right. She was this RN, right? She, uh, she knew Madden's whole operation, inside and out. I mean, if he was giving away babies, she'd have to know who was taking him. If anybody could tell us where Kate is, it would be her. Wait, wait. After Madden died, I mean, didn't she disappear? Uh-huh. Until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I just, I, all right, just excuse me, excuse me. There you go. What do you say, Dixie? You just suggest my mirror. You have work to do, mister. Go spook someone else, lady. I'm done. Huh. Oh, Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? This time, you do things my way. Over. Or what? <laughs> or you will be very sorry. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,